Hey, what's up YouTube? I am the Happy Hermit, and for the last year and a bit, our family of four has been off the grid. Today I'm gonna to give you guys a more in-depth look at our solar and wind hybrid power system, how we've got things set up and the components we used, as well as what the small system will power and how much it costs to get to this point. So stay tuned and let's check it out. So beside me, I've got four Canadian solar panels. These panels are 265 watts a piece and they're wired in series, two in series, two in series, and then together in parallel. So I've got about 72 volts coming to the house. Um, basically, didn't have a lot of cash in the budget for putting this together in a hurry. So what I did was poplar logs, just went out into the bush with an ax, found some trees, chopped them up, took the limbs off. And I just put those in the ground. And then with two by fours, just leaned them up, set the angle and kind of braced them at the bottom. And they've held up to 100 kilometer an hour, or what is that, give or take 60, 60, 65 mile an hour winds. And then up there, we have our Hummer 1000 watt turbine. So this is under the staircase. This is where we house most of our components. In here is the vented enclosure for our battery bank, which is four 12 volt batteries wired up in series to make 48 volts. So first we have this Hummer charge controller. So the way we've got it set up now is actually this unit only runs the wind power to charge the batteries. So the wind turbine is all that's coming into here. This TriStar PWM controller on the wall is in charge of the solar power to the battery bank. On top of this Hummer controller are 20 100 watt halogen bulbs that will act as a dump load. So if there's excess power and it needs to dump it somewhere, it just starts lighting up those halogens. I do plan on looking into using uh, an electric DC water heater to supplement the propane and use that as our dump load. So that way we can save some propane by heating our hot water with the surplus solar and wind energy. So that's something we're looking at for down the road. In the meantime, we've got a 5,000 watt pure sign inverter there. It's just an eBay inverter. It's been working fine for us. We've had good luck with it and it was way more affordable than a name brand unit. So it might bite me in the ass later, but for now I'm saying I really like that inverter. If you guys are looking for an inverter and you don't want to spend a lot of money, but you want something that's gonna work, I've been running this thing for a year. So I'll put the link in the description, uh, as well as I'll put the link for any components in here like this TriStar PWM. And then back here we've got this breaker switch. So this disconnects the solar and it can disconnect the power to the inverter. So if I wanna work on something, I can just flip those breakers and that'll cut the power to whatever I need to cut in order to get in here and start working on the system. So what will it power? Well, right now I'm charging the laptop. I just made a pot of coffee. The kids watched a movie, and I can even fire up the Dyson vacuum. See, when the battery bank is full, it really doesn't matter that we only have a thousand watts of solar, because that's a thousand watts that can go straight into using a household item, when that power is not needed to keep charging the battery bank. So when we keep our batteries quite full, using the laptop and the coffee maker at the same time is still not even touching any of the battery power that we have stored away. While this unique fridge does do the job of keeping things cool without using electricity, I wouldn't recommend it. It's had a lot of issues, things have been breaking, it's needed maintenance and repair, and it's less than a year old. The problem is, when I call Unique for after sales service, I don't even get a return phone call. So if you're looking for an off-grid appliance and you want quality, I would recommend you steer clear of Unique products. As far as a cost breakdown for what we've spent so far, we've got the cost of the four panels at about $1,000. The TriStar TS45 controller is another 200 bucks. And then the Hummer turbine and controller combo, we only paid $500 for pre-owned. The 12 volt batteries cost us another 1,600. And I would budget about 800 bucks for miscellaneous cable, breakers, etc. All in all, this brings us to a grand total of $4,000 for this system. We get all of our water from a Sandpoint well that I drove in by hand, about 17 feet deep, with a 40 pound post pounder. All our water is pumped from that Sandpoint well by a regular 110 volt pump that we've got mounted here in the house. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
That's a look at our off-grid setup and how we've been dealing with our power, our water, and our refrigeration. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that subscribe button down below. Thank you for all of those that have helped support this channel, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers!